It was supposed to be an amazing day for riding, but that all changed when our pre-production Blade e-scooter's front tire went flat, deflating our spirits. Can a blue armadillos fix that flat and keep the scooter going all day for our ride? have this scooter, brand new scooter that we're going to be testing and riding today. Hopefully the front tire is flat. Fortunately, we had some armadillos. Thank you, Corey, for sending this to us. We're going to try throwing some of this in the tire. Hopefully we can get it going so we can get this review done. Right, let's get going. We don't got a lot of time here. Shake it up a little bit. Cut off tip of valve just enough to open, depressurize the tire, remove valve core. So. Let's give it a shot. There are fewer buzz kills than having a scooter or whatever PEV, getting ready to go ride and then having a flat tire, all right? And so that, that was what happened to us. We had a flat tire. Fortunately, I'm an Eagle Scout. We were prepared. We had some armadillos. We had a pump. The electric pump ran out of batteries. And fortunately, Andrew had a hand pump. Pump that bad boy up and it looks like the armadillos is working and we're ready to ride. Yeah, it's got a cool kickstand and we'll get ready to go. The blade is silky smooth with its sine wave controller, but what impressed me most was the bottle of Armadillo's tire sealant, because without it, this day would have been spent trying to fix a flat tire rather than riding and having fun. It's kind of got an ambulance or police car noise. The smooth acceleration, not that nerve shattering, arm ripping acceleration we're normally used to on a lot of other scooters, but combination of the steering damper and the nice smooth acceleration this is fun we've got a car coming okay, now let's turn left here oh yeah using that turn signal yeah i see the turn signal we have some initial impressions some good some bad the folding mechanism is nice and sturdy but it's not portable at all. You don't have to have this bolt. It's gonna work without the bolt, but you're gonna have a little bit of stem wobble. This bolt makes the stem pretty much rock solid, and you're never gonna have to worry about it collapsing in on you. But you do have to carry a tool with you all the time. So, a couple things. So, coming from folded position, bring it to the up position, tighten the bolt, that's what's really good is this makes it rock solid. So just make sure that's tight. Then you bring this rugged clamp down, but yeah, it, it makes the, the stem rock solid. I love the aesthetics of it. I love the nut hydraulic braking system. The steering damper is really sweet. All scooters should have a steering damper that goes over 30 miles per hour. It's got a nifty kickstand, and then overall, it's just got a very unique and beautiful look to it. I like that green metallic color that it has, and it reminds me of back when I used to play Halo. I don't know if are there are any Halo fans out there, uh, but this reminds me of the Warthog. Here we go. This is the Warthog of scooters. The throttle is not twitchy. Pull down on the throttle and it's a nice smooth acceleration. So here we go. The steering damper does limit the turning radius. That's as far as I can go to the left. And so I'm gonna have to turn. And I'll turn the other way. That's as far as I can turn to the right. So I guess that is just a true three point turn. But uh, you know, not the most nimble of scooters. Well, whatever these torque settings are set to, uh, this is what I like. Out of the box, this is perfect for Jimmy Chang, the conservative rider. <laughs> Jimmy Conservative Chang. I knew that Jimmy would like this. On some of these other high-powered scooters that we test, uh, it almost feels like my shoulders are going to be ripped out of their sockets. Uh, it's not the case with this one. This one's nice and smooth. Just like ketchup, sriracha, and soy sauce are must-have staples in my kitchen, a handy little bottle of armadillos is an essential in my personal electric vehicle kit. Thanks for watching, and remember, as always, when you ride, wear your safety gear.